statement of condolence to the family of Noah Donoghue, which fulfills the criteria set out in Standing Order 24. Other members who wish to be called should do so by rising in their place and continue to do so. All members called will have up to three minutes to speak on the subject. I would remind members I will not take any points of order on this or any other matter until this item of business is finished. I call Mr John O'Dowd. Um, thank you, and thank you to the House for giving members this opportunity to express our condolences uh, on the death of young Noah Donoghue and to pass on our condolences uh, to his mother Fiona. Uh, when news started to come through that a young boy was missing um, in, in North Belfast, people hoped that uh, it would end out or end up okay, that the, the, the young lad would be found, and that our hopes and, and, and prayers were with him and his family. In a period when there's been so much bad news and sadness and grief in our community, uh, the, the, the Noah going missing caught people's attention. And the, the, the tragedy that unfurled before us has uh, been the nightmare of every parent. I'm, I'm a parent of, of a young boy around the same age as Noah. Uh, and we all fear for their safety and, and we, we, we give them the freedom and, and, and the, the, the opportunities to, to go out and, and live their lives as best they can. But every parent fears that the circumstances which young Noah found himself in will come to their door. And I think that's part of the reason why we have all taken a step back uh, and had no in our thoughts since the announcement of him going missing and also in terms of the tragedy of, of his remains being found. Noah's mother said that he would change the world. And I think there's little doubt that he's changed all our worlds. That uh, those photographs of him that beam out of our television screens and from the fronts of newspapers uh, will be embedded in our minds, I think, forever. Uh, that, that, in fact, his smile, that, that glint in his eye, uh, the tributes paid to him by his friends, by his school, but particularly by his mother, uh, will live with us for a very, very long time. So I, I didn't know Noah, I didn't know his family, um, but I think it's only right and proper that the Assembly stops, takes a moment and pays tribute to him and to his parents. I also want to pay tribute to the emergency services uh, who carried out the searches uh, for Noah, uh, to, the rescue, to the search and rescue teams that were involved, uh, and also to the community, uh, to the, all sections of the community uh, who came together to, to help in that search. Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with them and also uh, with Noah's family. I also, with your indulgence, uh, Mr. Speaker, I want also to mention another young boy who, who lost his life over the weekend in my own constituency, young Luke Lawson, uh, a year eight student at Lismore, who died tragically over the weekend as well. Um, again, another nightmare of, of any parent. So our thoughts and prayers are with Luke's family as well. Thank you. I call William Humphrey. Speaker, and can I, on behalf of the Democratic Unionist Party, extend our deepest sympathy to Noah's mother, Fiona, and the family circle, and may God bless and sustain them in the days ahead. I also want to extend our sympathy to Dr Paul McBride, a principal, and this, the school family at St Malachy's College on the Antrim Road, where Noah was a pupil. This is a desperately sad situation. A 14-year-old boy uh, in the prime of his youth taken from us and taken far too soon. Noel Donoghue's disappearance united in a times fractured community in North Belfast. With the many hundreds of volunteers coming out to join the search across the lower part of the constituency were testament to that. They came from across the community and indeed some of them from across the country with one aim to find Noah and bring him home safely to his mother and his family. Sadly on Saturday we all received the sad news that Noel had been found and his life had ended. That was the news that all of us feared and none of us wanted to hear. The outpouring of grief was exemplified on Sunday evening with two services, one in Skegeneal and one in the Antrim Road outside of school, again uniting the community. Noah was very clearly a special young man and he's left a huge gap in the life of his family and in his school and his school friends. 
Mr. Deputy Speaker, he will never be forgotten. He has a special place in the minds and now in the lifeblood of North Belfast and its people. They have united in grief as they united in the search to find him. And I too would like to join in the thanks to the emergency services. In particular, I'd like to thank Superintendent Muir Clark, who led the team in such a professional way, and all of the officers from the Police Service of Northern Ireland, how they conducted themselves in such a committed, professional and dedicated way. I also want to thank uh, Sean McCarry, the Regional Commander of the Community Research Service. I spoke to Sean through the week and I spoke to him again on Sunday evening to thank him. His volunteers, and they are all volunteers, came at all times of the day to search for Noah. They gave leadership. Leadership was also given by the, by the community, as I've said, at times fractured, with many hundreds of people coming together. I joined the search in two of the evenings last week, and hundreds of people turned up at the hub. And I want to thank the hub, I want to thank Jim Crothers and his team for the leadership they gave. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank two of my party colleagues who were exemplary in how they conducted themselves and the role they played, Pastor Brian Madden and Councillor Dean McCulloch. Many people joined, joined the search, it is to credit to that community and to our city. I am deeply sorry for the outcome. And I would ask all of us to remember Noah's mother and his family and his school friends in the days ahead in prayer. Thank you. I call Matthew O'Toole. Thank you, um, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Mr. Deputy Speaker, no words that we say today um, will console Fiona Donoghue and Noah's family. Uh, the loss they have suffered is simply unimaginable. Um, John O'Dowd spoke eloquently about the fear struck into all parents and all people who look after young people when they saw um, news of the disappearance of Noah. Uh, William Humphrey said correctly that everyone uh, across this place longed for a positive outcome uh, for the search, in the search for Noah. And indeed, people from across Northern Ireland uh, across Belfast and across Northern Ireland went to North Belfast to look for Noah. I too pay tribute to the stellar work of the police and rescue services and the, the work, the commitment, the sheer dedication of people from right across the community, people um, of different persuasions and none who simply wanted to find um, uh, a, a glorious, lost, young boy and bring him home to his mother. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And all of us in this chamber and across um, the community are um, devastated by the news that we heard on Saturday. But our devastation pales in comparison to the suffering that is being experienced um, by Noah's mother, Fiona, uh, and their broader family. We can say that our hearts go out to them, but surely that can hardly capture the, the depth, the enormity of the sorrow that we all feel on their behalf. Um, Noah, Noah uh, and his family, his mother, were uh, constituents in South Belfast. The entire community across Belfast and across Northern Ireland, as I say, are thinking uh, about them now. Uh, William Humphrey said correctly that Noah will not be forgotten and, uh, and, and and we can be sure of that. Um, those of us who looked at the um, beautiful words that were shared by um, the headmaster of his former school, St Malachy's, will pay testament to his leadership, his love of basketball, his commitment to, um, to music, his leadership and his kindness. It's only more painful and sad to think of the life that we have lost. But the motto of St Malachy's um, is Gloria ab intus, which translated means glory from within. We can hope that some of the glory that clearly was contained within Noah during his short life uh, remains and consoles Fiona Donoghue and their family in the years ahead. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I call Robbie Butler. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I just want to pass on the sympathy, regret and prayers of the Ulster Unionist Party and on behalf of myself um, as, as a father, but there's no doubt that through this tragedy, you don't need to be a parent to feel the pain of that family and to feel the pain of the community, which is the loss of 
a young life all too soon. I want to commend the members that have spoken so far because what you can get is that real sense of loss and, and the tragedy that it is today. There will be no more important uh, issue that we talk about here today, regardless of the topics. Um, as Mr O'Toole has rightly pointed out, Niall has uh, been painted by his teachers, by his friends, by his peers, by his family as a uniquely talented uh, young man. When you looked at those photographs, I think uh, Mr O'Dowd pointed out that smile, that infectious smile. He was a beautiful young man. And I think that every one of us, having looked at those pictures and listened to this story and followed the proceedings, will have been brought to tears or to near tears at times. When you put yourself in the shoes of Fiona, his mother, and his wider and extended family, and that fear, and I can't think of a worse fear as a parent that you would be faced with than the loss of your child. Our thoughts are with the school and with his family predominantly, but it has been rightly pointed out by Mr. Humphrey. A community mobilised to try and search and, and, and try and attain a miracle where Niall would be found well and alive and returned to his family. And uh, as has been rightly pointed out, the emergency services and the voluntary services who provided much of the search uh, uh, resource and expertise. And I can only say that when, if you haven't been part of something like that, it is something you do with fear and a knot in your stomach when you're looking for someone who's lost, because the bigger part of you wants to find the person alive, and there's another part of you doesn't want to find something tragic. And you do it out of a sense of that, that it is necessary to do to, to bring um, uh, release and closure to the family or that miracle that we all prayed for. And it is with regret uh, that that miracle didn't happen in the way that we know. However, Noah himself was a miracle. Noah was a treasure to his family. He is the pride of his family, and that will never be lost. When you look at the lives that he touched through his multiple skills, as Mr. O'Toole pointed out, his sports prowess, his, his musical ability, his smile, he touched lives both in life and in death. Uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, we will remember now uh, Donoghue with absolute pride, and we thank his mother and his family for how they have allowed us to be part of his story. I call Paula Bradshaw. Deputy Speaker, and thank you, Mr O'Dowd, for bringing forward this um, matter of the day and giving us then the space to express our sympathies. I rise on behalf of the Alliance Party and the people of South Belfast that I represent to express my sincerest sympathies to Noah's family and friends. We all hoped and prayed that this fresh, precious boy would come home to his loving mother, Fiona, and wider family circle. I hope she finds the strength to get through these very dark days uh, with their love and knowing that everyone across this country is thinking about them. It's very clear that he was a, a very special boy, very energetic and full of life and it makes it just all the sadder um, when we heard the news on Saturday morning. Like others, I'd like to pay tribute to the sterling work of the PSNI and other rescue service providers, and also to the wider community. May Noah rest in peace. Thank you. I call Jim Alistair. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. The loss of a child at any time is heartbreaking. There are members of this House who have been in that position through the loss of children or grandchildren. Many of us have not, but I don't think there's a single member of this society who couldn't and shouldn't have been touched by the circumstances that befell young Noah, leading to his death. And that, of course, has piled on the agony for the family, and I have no doubt they are in the thoughts and prayers, as they ought to be, of all of us. I want to join and endorse the comments that have been made in expressing, for what it is worth, bearing the deep, dark place where she must be, the sympathy of us all to Noah's mother his wider family, to his school community, who will feel this loss very severely, and to all 
his friends. And I join in saluting the tremendous efforts of both the emergency services and the huge outpouring through community effort and commend all and join in all in regretting that the outcome sadly was as it was and trusting that that family will find the grace and the comfort that they so desperately need. I call Jerry Carl. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and I want to offer my condolences and sympathy to the family and friends and those who knew and Noah Donoghue. And what happened to, to, to the young man was truly tragic and heartbreaking. And I want to extend my condolences uh, on behalf of people before profit to everybody who knew him and who was related to him. It is hard to imagine uh, the heartache that the community uh, is feeling after this uh, tragic news, both uh, last week, today, and over the next few weeks. And we have to offer our sympathy and thoughts uh, to them. And sadly, Mr. Deputy Speaker, it seems to be too often that the community search and rescue team are having to carry out actions like this, particularly uh, in North Belfast and that part of uh, our city. Uh, and we want to thank them, as others have done, for their, their work and their, uh, their efforts. Uh, th this young man uh, clearly hit the hearts and touched uh, so many people, and that was evident by the, the many heartfelt tributes uh, paid to him online. It was also evident by the many, many people uh, who came out to search for um, young Noah, hundreds of people from all backgrounds, from all communities, right across Belfast and right across the North more generally. And I think that, that spirit, uh, that uh, community solidarity will be important uh, for people to attempt uh, to try and come to terms and grieve with this uh, tragic event. So uh, we offer our, our sympathies. Thank you. I call Daniel McCrossan. Uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And, um, I too would like to echo the words shared in this House by colleagues. Uh, quite simply, there are no words that will ever comfort Fiona, her sister Shona, Neve, Noah's uncles Jared and Ronan, his granny Margot, and grandfather Jerry during this very, very difficult time. I can't even begin to imagine the pain worry, stress and anxiety that they suffered in the days prior to finding Noah. There are no words for such a tremendous loss of young life, a tragic loss of young life. Noah's family are originally from Straban. Many members of his wider family still remain there. And as a town and as a community, many gathered over the course of the weekend to pay tribute to the family and offer our prayers, condolences, or thoughts, and to share in the grief of the family during what is a very, very difficult time. Over the last few days, I think we've all become, we've all got to know Noah a little bit better uh, from the posts shared on social media, from the videos of him cooking, uh, playing musical instruments, sport, and that infectious smile Caring nature shines through in abundance in all of those social media posts. There has been an incredible outpouring of grief to support Fiona and her family during this incredibly difficult time. It has united communities in the search for Noah. But I know that the prayers of our entire society from one end of this island to the other will be with Fiona in the days ahead. There's many young people who have lost their lives in recent months across this island. And I share in uh, paying tribute to the young loss of life also in my constituency colleague, Dolores Kelly's constituency, and also as well in my own constituency where Dean McElwee, a young man, tragically lost his life at the weekend as well. The pain of losing a young person, as Jim Allister has rightly said, uh, is unimaginable, unbearable for many. My Thoughts and prayers are with Fiona, her family, and all those who are going through this tremendously difficult time, uh, and that of my SDLP colleagues as well. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I call Claire Bailey. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I just want to take the opportunity on behalf of the Green Party to pass our sincere condolences to Fiona, Noah's mum, and his family, and his wider circle of friends. 
It's incredibly tragic to wake up on Saturday to find um, the tragic news that it was Noah's body that was found. Um, and I don't think that there are very many people who could even begin to imagine how this has affected his mum. And I think we've just heard from our last speaker there, um, so much has been shared of Noah's life on social media. And I think that the clearest thing for me was how close he was to his mum. What a strong and warm relationship that they had. And I know that they have not long moved to the Orma Road. Um, and if there's anything that I could say today to try and offer just a tiny piece of comfort is to let Fiona and the family know that the Orma Road community care about what's happened, want to do all that they can to try and share in your grief and to support them through the unimaginable times ahead in dealing with the tragedy of losing such a beautiful boy in such horrific circumstances. So I thank Mr O'Dowd for bringing this to the, the chamber today um, and wish every strength and courage to Fiona and her family in getting through what will be horrific sadness in the times ahead. Thank you. And that concludes members' contribution on the sad matter. <clears throat> the first item on the order paper is a motion conferring functions on the Northern Ireland Assembly Commission, and I'll ask the clerk to read the motion. But this assembly notes.